Hello guys, in a previous video you've seen me working on this uh, John Deere wrapper here and I had tried to get this lifting uh, piece of the wrapper to work so I had a small servo in here to try and lift this but it wasn't strong enough so today I'm going to try again but instead of a servo I'm going to use this little gear motor that you would have seen in a cheap motor review video that I done it was the second cheap motor review video so if you watch that you'll notice that this is quite a torquey little motor and I'm pretty sure if I mount that in here I'll be able to connect it to this lifting arm and we should have more than enough power to lift the bale up onto the little platform here so to mount the motor I made a few little 3d printed pieces here so this little rectangular piece here obviously has a hole for the motor to sit in like that and that's gonna mount under the model like this and I'm just gonna have to drill a few holes through the body and into the plastic here and then I have some self tapping screws that I can just uh, screw the this plastic piece tight onto the body here I think that will be quite a compact uh, little solution to the problem. I know the motor overhangs out here quite a bit, but it's not too bad. I mean, that section, it's not like it's going to hit anything. I mean, there's the there's the widest part of the model, and this is quite a narrow model for by most of the trailers. So it's not going to hit anything uh, on a diorama for example it should be fairly fairly well hidden in there should be safe enough to connect the motor to the little lifting arm I had to make another little uh, connecting rod piece here and that just there's a like a D shaft on this motor so this piece I uh, designed a little D shaft or a little D slot I guess you'd call it into the into the little connecting rod so that goes something like that on the model there. Then when it's mounted in place, it should just connect to the to the existing arm and just move it up and down. So I'm probably going to drill a hole. If you can see, this piece here has um, I don't know what you'd call this little pin that uh, fits into the hole there. So I think what I'll do is remove that drill a two millimeter hole kind of in a central location where this pin used to be mount this little connection that I've made onto the arm there and then use the motor as the pivot point on this side of the arm that should uh, prevent me having any problems with alignment on this side so the first thing to do is line up the motor and drill a few holes to mount this uh, plastic piece these are only really prototype pieces so they mightn't work and as well as that I can improve them if I need to. Uh, I just reprint the piece, it's not, it's not too difficult. I was a little bit too slow with the drill bit and as a result the hole here has actually ended up wider than, uh, than I had intended. But it actually doesn't matter all that much really. It turns out the motor can fit pretty perfectly inside that hole there. So I might not need to remove the the little pin that's on this side at all. I might be able to just connect this little um, conrod in here without needing to remove the pin at all. So if I can do that, that would be pretty ideal. I have the motor screwed on now and screwed onto the lifting arm. So that is basically how I pictured this working out. Which is pretty good. The last thing now is just to test that it can actually lift a bale onto the onto the wrapper. Okay, I have the power supply set up to two volts, so hopefully we'll be able to record this without me blocking the camera. So 
so it goes down okay and up all right and now we're only at two volts so if we had our full 3.7 it'd be going up a lot quicker but a uh, little bit hard to control with just the wires so I'll just stick to two volts for now as you can see that's working pretty good no problem no problem lifting the bale and like I said this isn't full power this is only two volts I just want it at a controllable speed I think the bale fell forward there because the hitch is not on a tractor so the trailer's leaning a bit forward. I'll just grab a tractor and do it again to get an idea of what way it'll move with the trailer at the right angle. So here it is behind the Ford 7810. Should be able to lift it up now no problem. Try that again. I think the problem is it's hitting this thing here. Yeah, when it rolls on, it's rolling on and hitting this guy here, so it can't uh, it can't get settled in where it's supposed to be. So really, we need something to stop the bale around about here. So I reckon it's hitting that, so I'll just put the bale forward of that point a bit. And now we're running out of space. Hmm. Let's see now. Yeah, so if we stop the bale going too far back onto this lifting piece, we should be able to get it to land where we want it. But that's a problem for another day. So we've successfully got this little motor to lift the bales up, which is uh, which is all we're really hoping to get to today. If you have any comments or suggestions on uh, this build, let me know in the forum, and I'll do my best to answer them or uh, post your comments below the video if you want. And if you liked the video, uh, make sure and hit the thumbs up button, hit the like button, and uh, share the video if you want. And uh, that's always good to help uh, grow the channel. The next part of this build I'm going to do is the rotation of this platform. I have uh, this little motor here, and I'm just going to mount that underneath the, the body. There is a little metal circle in here. See this little, it's like a, like a washer. I'm going to cut a section of that out that will match the little lip on this motor here. I'll cut away this uh, fake cylinder here and its mounting brackets and I'll make a mounting piece for the motor. So that motor will be mounted on there or might have to be mounted at an angle depending on clearance with the body here so that we can, we're still able to lift the, this uh, platform up. We want to be able to uh, dump the bale back off so. so that's how we plan to get the rotation working. That's pretty much everything for this build so thanks very much for watching.